Good morning. Welcome to another Monday morning coffee with Melissa. I'm your host, Melissa. Cheers. So today I want to talk about how to overcome doubt. Now, doubt can be, it can be a really tricky thing. And from my experience, it all stems from a limiting belief or multiple limiting beliefs. So I believe that when, um, when we have doubt, that we need to really get to the root cause of the doubt. So when I'm working with a client, I really want to, I really dive deep in like, and I'm not a therapist, but I really feel that in order for me to effectively coach someone, uh, whether it's on a weight loss journey, even, you know, or, you know, through my mental abundance program, or even if it's just some training sessions, you know, because if you have limiting beliefs, like doubts on, oh, can I lose the weight? Can I overcome this anxiety and depression thing I have? You know, can I run this 10K? You know, it's all about overcoming limiting beliefs. And that's how we overcome doubt. So how do we do that? How do we overcome limiting beliefs? Well, first you have to go, like I said, to the root cause of the limiting belief. So it's really important to meditate on this, like close your eyes and really go back to these significant events in your childhood, you know, and that could be anything, you know, through high school, um, any significant events, whether they're positive or negative, you know, that creates our belief system, significant events in our life. So go back. Um, so one limiting belief that I had for many, many years was that I couldn't be happy in a romantic relationship and that he was just going to leave. And I just, and that I didn't deserve that. So I had so many doubts about that, like so many. So I really did some soul searching and realized that, you know, it stemmed from a couple significant events in my life. You know, the first one, I believe it was, you know, when I was in junior high and high school, you know, I had really, really bad acne, really, really bad. And a lot of that's genetics, um, but a lot of it's also diet too. You know, at home I ate well, but in high school I ate fast food every day for lunch. It was horrible. And so I got made fun of because of that. And it really, really lowered my self-esteem and lowered my level of self-deserve. And then the other significant event in my life was when I was in college, I had um, a relationship that I was in had ended and I was devastated. I was so devastated. Oh my gosh. I thought, great. Now I'm never going to get married, blah, blah, blah. And it was really, really difficult for me to get over. And that was really, um, I had a lot of doubts about like my ability to, you know, like I've expressed before in these videos, like my ability to be, you know, a good partner, a loving partner and, you know, be someone who wanted be with someone who actually loved me and wanted to be with me. So after recognizing that I had a conversation, I started having conversations with my old self to help me get over it and be like, no, I understand you're sad. It sucks. You know, this is hard. It's hard being bullied or not bullied technically, but like made fun of. You know, when you don't have the clearest skin, it's hard being called pizza face and it's, it's not fun, but it's not about you. It's all about them. You know, you're beautiful the way you are 
you are whole and you are loving and you are kind and all these things. So I just started doing that and it worked. It really helped me overcome these doubts. So really, I think the key is to overcoming doubt, especially self-doubt, is finding the root cause of the limiting belief, even just acknowledging the limiting belief and then start slow. You know, don't be like, oh yeah, okay. All of a sudden I'm going to do this. I have so much confidence. You know, the doubt's gone. The doubt will always be there. The doubt will always creep up a little bit. However, it's what you do with the doubt, recognize it, acknowledge it, and then move on. So I hope this helped. This is a topic that I'm really still learning a lot about you guys. So I, by any means, am not an expert on how to overcome doubt because I constantly have doubt every single day. So it's just um, finding a way to minimize it. So, so the big takeaway, figure out what your limiting beliefs are. And this is one thing I really focus on with my coaching clients. And it also, you know, especially with through my mental abundance program, we talk a lot about this because I feel like anxiety and depression st could stem from limiting beliefs. So I really focus this on my focus on this through my mental abundance program. So anyways, take away limiting beliefs, figure them out and then work from there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so grateful for you. Cheers.